A Coriolis force. Oh, <laughs> that's such a naughty question. Right, OK. <laughs> the Coriolis effect. It's a difficult thing to understand, I think. It's to the left. Oh, is it to the right? I always get it wrong. Um, ask that to Brian Hoskins. If you're on um, a um, roundabout in the park... And I throw a ball at you, straight at you, it'll appear to the person on the roundabout, if you like, that the ball follows a curved path. In fact, the ball is travelling straight. Coriolis force is linked to the spinning of the Earth. When you're on a rotating system and you start to move, there's all sorts of different things happen, and you tend to be flung off at right, right angles to the way you want to go. And that's what the Coriolis force is always saying, OK, you want to go to that direction, I want you to go that direction. Here we've got an old satellite dish which we've painted black. And um, if I put the, a ball bearing on this, it just as you expect, it sort of rolls towards the middle. Um, gravity pulls it down towards the middle there. So Next, Professor Hoskins spins the dish to simulate the rotation of the Earth. To witness the effect of this rotation on a travelling object, he has set up a revolving camera above the dish. The ball bearing represents the air moving across the Earth's surface. Clearly, the ball is travelling backwards and forwards. But the revolving camera shows that it's going in circles as well. You can see from here, it's almost rotating with the dish. But then when you look on there, what you see relative to this, and the camera that's rotating with it, it's going round and almost in circles, snaking on itself. This simple experiment demonstrates that air is spun around by the Earth's rotation. <laughs>